М1 Global presents. Уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, представляем ваше внимание трехраундовый супербой промежуточной весовой категории до 62 килограммов. Я Залимбек Амаров, выступаю в клуб Fight Eagle город Хасаюрт. Бьюсь на турнире М1 Челлендж Ингушетии битвы Нартова. Мой соперник бразилец Дига Дайола. Родивый достойный соперник. Смотрел его бои и борется, и бьет. Я надеюсь, будет интересный бой. Я планирую драться со стойкой. Могу и перейти партии. Смотря как удобно, ринге видно бой. Я специально перешел на легчайшую свою категорию, что есть такой разговор, если я выиграю, это бой, следующий бой могут быть за пояс. Поэтому я перешел. Желаю своему сопернику биться достойно, показать хороший бой, бою видно будет. Залимбек, вин по чинокаучеву финализар. Теперь вы сидите препарат. Вы все кампион на салу. Спортсмен в синем гурыдже из Бразилии. Приветствуйте, Диего Да! Eu serei o pai de multidões Tocarei em muitas gerações Eu serei o pai de multidões Tocarei em muitas gerações Eu vejo ovos, reviúvas, filhos pratos, tão longe do meu pai, consolados que choram, libertar os cativos, preparar. Спортсмен в красном угол Руиджа представляет Российскую Федерацию, город Хасавирут, Республика Дагестан, клуб Фатинегл. Приветствуйте, Салимбек Омара! Zalim Bekam 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 Challenge catchweight bout. Now, introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 28 years old. He weighed in at 64 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters tall and has a record of 15 wins with five losses. He is a BJJ and Luta Livre black belt. He is multiple time state champion in BJJ and national Luta Livre champion. Representing first MMA management team from Brazil, Diego Tavela. Now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 61.5 kilograms. He stands 173 centimeters tall and has a professional record of seven wins, one loss and one draw. He is master of sports in combat sambo, regional MMA champion and medalist of the National Pancration Championship. Representing Fighting Eagle from Russia, Zalimbeg Omarov! Your referee for this bout, Magomed Sultan Akhmedov. Fight in the middle. We work for three rounds for five minutes. We don't have a head. We don't have a head. We don't have a head. Diago Davela faces Zalibek Omarov from Dagestan. For not making the weight. And Diego Davela, before the fight starts, gets shown a yellow card for not making weight properly yesterday. Which means he gets deducted 20% of his purse and the point, but starts off with a big uppercut here and fast pace. In the beginning oh, moment of nice the Oh, nice overcut with a left hook followed on. But Omarov fires back, stays dangerous. Devella looks like he's having fun out there. He's smiling at his opponent. Yeah, he's a fighter hard. Oh, Devella, great hands as well as great groundwork. while Omarov is attacking with looping right hands. And another one. Just missing the mark. Omarov is riding a five-fight winning streak right now. Devella looking to snatch it. Devella working the body. Devella is looking really good. I mean, Devella's doing great standing up, but if he wants it to the ground, he should use the forward momentum of Umarov to slip underneath and take him down. There you go, he could shoot there. Yeah, well, the ground game definitely the bread and butter of Diego de Vela as he's a BJJ black belt, Brazilian champion, Luta Livre. Oh, a, tags him with the left hook. But looks very His good in the stand up good. here. That's a big right hand. Another hard right and another left. That overcut is catching the mark. Decides to go for the takedown, but misses it. Well, Omarov needs to take down because he's getting lit up here in the striking department. Nice knees coming in from Omarov. Devela trying to look for the guillotine. Trying to slide his hands in. Gets the takedown though, Omarov on top. And Devela is dangerous from his back. Well, you would think being a BJJ black belt, this is the best position he can be in if he's on his back. You need your opponent in the guard. There's more submissions from this position than any other position on your back. So let's not disappoint. Let's see what the black belt holds. Not a very active guard. Here he goes, he's going to switch for the arm. He's trying to turn to the side, missed it. Omarov softening Devela up with short punches to the body. And a referee, Zultan Akhmedov, calling for action. 
But that's the difference between MMA and BJJ. BJJ, you got all the time in the world to work for a submission because you don't fear the punches. And in MMA, you just get hit in the face. And Davela just experiences that right now as Omarov is upping the ante here. Oh, nice landing right hand by big Omarov. Shots. Trying to sweep under for the knee. Gets his arm trapped in the meantime. Not a bad position for Omarov. Trapping his arm like that needs to be careful of the triangle. This is it. Yeah, Davela wanted to go for the arm bar. But almost found himself in a leg lock. Omarov should try to pass the legs here instead of just Oh, he got tagged with a kick. Them. Exactly. Uma Plata tried it. Now going for the arm, but doesn't have the right ankle. Now Omarov in half guard. Thirty seconds left in that first round. Omarov has a sambo background, so his leg locks should be very, very dangerous as well. And something to look out for for Diego Davela. Davela's moving well from his back, but not well enough to finish his submission or win this round. Omarov's bleeding. Well, Omarov finishes strong. First round definitely goes to him. Yeah, he had some problems in the beginning, got tagged by Davela, but managed to turn things around and finish strong in this first round. Here we go with a few highlights in that first round. We see it smiling, Diego Davela. And he had lots to smile at the beginning, landing hard shots over and over again. But as the round went on, it was Omarov who took over and was able to turn things around. As we can see right here, hard shots from top position. Good finish for Omarov that very well could have given him this round. Second round underway. Well, let's see if Tavella works on that great striking ability that he had. Didn't have any look from his back. Yeah, he's a smaller man, but looked way better in the striking than Omarov at the beginning. Let's say he's the shorter man, not the smaller man. Yeah. Because he weighed in heavy. Well, that wizard saved it. Kept hold of the wizard, it stopped him getting turned over. Oh! Nice body kick by Davela, answered by a hard right hand by Omarov. That caught the Brazilian clean. Nice knee by Omarov. Yeah, Devella's trying to get the takedown again. Devella has to be careful when he's coming in. He's a bit too reckless here and gets caught. Oh, he just throws into the canvas. Jumping knee by He Devella. is reckless. He's jumping in with a knee. Yeah. But it was widely done. Omarov here clinching Devella up against the corner. Attacking with short knees to the thigh. But he needs to do a bit more. Otherwise, both fighters will get separated soon. Devella trying to answer with body shots. 
Yeah, it's breaking free, that's a little bit better. Oh, a nice uppercut again by Devella. Really nice He's boxing by the Brazilian. Swinging. Omar of more of a wild puncher with looping, swinging shots. The fella needs to be careful popping his head down like that. Every time he goes in, it's, he's kind of going down to the level of a double, but not doing anything with it. Nice body kick though by Devella. Nice left hand by Devella. He should use his combinations more because they land. There's a nice one too. Kick to the body to follow. Tries to go to the body is the Brazilian. He's got good striking, he's just a little bit sloppy with it. He yeah. tie, tidies up a bit, it could, you know, it could be dangerous. Bit, There's that overcut. A bit too reckless. But Omarov, until now, not able to capitalize on it. Oh, oh big right uppercut! And Omarov went down immediately. He's been throwing that uppercut all fight. Finally managed to catch him. He wants to get him while he's on weak legs, and again! Another one! Oh, and Omarov oh. is outstanding! This he's fight out, he's down. is over! He needs to be careful not to get tied up! This fight needs to be stopped, Ian. Omarov was outstanding! Trying to defend on instinct here, while Devella... Devella trying to go for the rear naked yeah, choke. Yeah, trying to slap on a rear naked choke. Omarov needs to try and tie him up. I don't think Omarov knows where he is now, nah, that's it, it's in. It's in deep. It's in tight. That should be over. Oh, he's defending, though. He's trying to pull the arm down. Can't he's got, he's out, he's out, he's out, No, he's, he's out, out. He's, he's out. going to sleep. Omarov just went to sleep in a rear naked choke by Diego Davella. What a dominant finish by the Brazilian. He grabbed the arm. It looked like he was trying to escape, which he was. But just at the moment he grabbed the arm, he fell asleep. He went limp. Doesn't take much. Lack of oxygen to the brain. Omarov got rocked two times badly with those big uppercuts by the Vela. And eventually finished with the big rear naked choke. Huge win for the Brazilian here. Who trains at Impacto's gym in Stuttgart, Germany. Gym that has become home to a lot of promising Brazilians. We have made a big impact here at M1, just as Develo did with this victory. Diego Develo, a force to be reckoned with here. At M1, just needs to properly make weight the next time. Great striking, dangerous grappling, well-rounded, dangerous fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 52 seconds of the second round, we have a winner. By the way of rear naked choke, Diego Davila. Diego Davila, the winner of this fight. Great sign of sportsmanship here. Great show of respect. And with this nice scenes, I say goodbye to you. Tune in next time. You saw a great show. See you next year at M1 Challenge at 74. Bye-bye.